Let's move on now. A new Rawson reports this morning the new push for increased security at hotels in the wake of the Las Vegas shooting. Today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson is in Las Vegas with more. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning to you. Think about it. When you go to an airport and check in, you can't get through to the gates until you are searched, until your bags are scanned. So the question now is, should they be doing the same thing at hotels? Or is that too much? Right now, I'm standing in a room at Mandalay Bay where this all went down, and Stephen Paddock was literally able to do whatever he wanted up here. Once he got those suitcases with the weapons through the lobby, able to do whatever he wanted, reportedly even came over here and took one of these do not disturb signs and put it on the door for days so hotel workers wouldn't come in and see his stash, couldn't see what he was up to. This morning, security experts across the country agree hotels need to do more. Just days after Stephen Paddock opened fire from his room at Mandalay Bay, new focus on how he got the weapons inside undetected. Officials now say he smuggled the guns in at least 10 suitcases. Now security experts are calling for a nationwide ramp up. What can hotels do right now today? We can start by increasing security, put more people out on the floor, have more security officers. We can also look at dogs, bomb sniffing dogs. These dogs can find gunpowder. They can find explosive powder. They try to make it a little bit safer, but still not super intrusive. So you check in and there'll be dogs in the lobby just walking by and no one could slip in an arsenal of weapons like this. Right, that dog should be finding that gunpowder and alerting their handlers that maybe we should ask you a couple more questions. But that kind of change takes time. Checking in, Jeff Ross. Today, it remains business as usual at most hotels, like this one in New York City. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And just like that, like most hotels, this is no different than most in the country. I have my key. I have my luggage. I'll get right on the elevators here, and that's it. No checks. But scanning bags at hotels is already standard procedure in places like Jerusalem where guards check guests coming in. And in Moscow, where NBC News just spotted metal detectors in this hotel lobby. In Las Vegas, video surfacing this week from the Wynn and Encore, showing bag checks and employees with handheld wands searching guests. Experts say that's not a realistic long-term fix. In fact, by late Wednesday night, I checked in and no one stopped me at all. Okay, so I'm here at the Wynn in Vegas. Come on in. And I'm in my room now. No one searched my luggage. No one scanned me, searched me. Uh, and here we are in the room overlooking the Las Vegas Strip. There it is, right out there. The public is right down there. That's the Strip, just a few days after the shooting. Same situation when I check into Mandalay Bay, the scene of the crime. A security guard asks me to flash my key, but that's it. And we're in the room here, too. Now, experts say hotels across the country are working on new plans to increase security, and they have options. Let's talk about the windows for a moment. We're actually at Mandalay Bay right now. So these are the very windows that Paddock reportedly used a hammer on to break through. We're on a different floor. Is there anything to be done about that so you can't break these? Yeah, there is. There, there's two things, really. Number one, you can put a sensor on it. So like a home security system you would have, the, the sensor goes off, the glass breaks, someone can come up and inspect it. Immediately. Immediately. The second is a little bit cheaper option, and it's a clear film. Real simple, goes over the front like a tent, prevents the window from shattering. It's shatterproof. You can sit with a hammer all day and it won't break. You sure can. MGM, the owner of Mandalay Bay, telling NBC News it has increased its level of security. Security continues to be a top priority. Also telling us MGM resorts work consistently with local and national law enforcement agencies. And by the way, this is not just an MGM resort thing, of course. This is industry-wide, guys. We got in touch with the Hotel Industry Association. They have been meeting all week ever since this happened in this new world we live in now, the new reality, to figure out what they can do to step up security and make every everyone safer. All right, Jeff Rawson in Las Vegas. Jeff, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.